Welcome to Absolvers. Learn to use dialog HTML element. Learn how to use modal and non-modal dialog box. Learn how to use backdrop below dialog. So using dialog tag, we can create the dialog. To show or hide it, we will need to use a little bit of JavaScript. Let's see how to open, close and toggle a dialog in HTML. JavaScript is used to display the dialog element. We can use show modal method to display a modal dialog and show method to display a non-modal dialog. That's the difference between a modal dialog and non-modal dialog. Okay, this is our web page, HTML page. I will use three buttons to open, close and toggle dialog with classes btn1, btn2, btn3. Open dialog, close dialog, toggle dialog. Open, close, toggle. Then I will use dialog tag containing dummy text and close button inside it. Close button has class btn close. Okay. In scripts file that is attached at the end of document, I will get all these HTML elements and buttons so that I can target them. I got four buttons and one dialog. Okay, now let's open dialog. btn one dot add event listener click on click dialog dot show. This is btn one, and this is our dialog that is being shown. Show is method that we applied on this dialog. Okay, btn two. Dialog dot close. Btn2 will close the dialog using close method. Open dialog and see the UI is accessible still. Okay, so open dialog close. Open close. Then we have another button btn4 that is btn dash close with class btn close. That will also close the dialog. Dialog dot close. Then we have this btn3 for toggling dialog btn3 dot add event listener click if dialog dot open dialog dot close else dialog dot show right toggle stole is also working close is working open is working toggle is in case you need one button to open and close the dialog okay that is all good and it's non-modal implementation because we used show method I'll get back to it in a minute, but let's style it first. So in our CSS file, this is the dialog styling, background, color, font weight, padding, border radius, usual stuff, max width, line height, top and left 50% and then transform, translate, minus 50, minus 50 to make it centered, margin, transition and opacity zero. Okay, so opacity has been applied. Opacity one. Okay, this button, red button is also working. Okay, I will use the opacity zero. So dialog dot opened opacity one. Opened is the class that I will toggle on dialog in a minute. So this is dialog backdrop that you don't see yet. Hold on. Still one. And here's the dialog, but we don't have backdrop here. You see here, this is dialog. We don't have backdrop here. Okay, close button, position absolute, right top, and line height. Unbelievable. Anyways, so here is the close button. Okay, so this is opacity zero. Okay, I want to use some transition here. Okay, now first let's add remove class based on dialog visibility. When dialog will be shown, I will add class opened. And when dialog will be closed, I will just remove the class. So here the dialog is opened. I will add open class to the dialog and show close close show. Okay, and when it will be closed, I will remove the class opened. Close. It is closed. Okay. Let's see. See, there is some transition going on. Okay, so now you see this class opened. If I close it, 
open class is gone, right? Okay. It's just my personal preference. You can skip this additional class opened. I do it in case I might need to target elements. Okay. Now let's make it Moodle. To make it Moodle, we have to use dialog.showMoodle instead of just show. So here it was show method. And here, instead of show method, we'll use show Moodle method. Now it's Moodle, see? Now it's blocking the background UI. Before it was not blocking. And escape is working here. And see the backdrop up here now. Now I can't access the toggle dialog button because UI is blocked now. Okay. So this is everything. Moodle, non-Moodle dialog, show hide, toggle dialog, add remove class, styling dialog. For the buttons, you probably will only need open button in web page and then close button inside dialog. Not these three buttons on web page. This is just for demo purpose and to show you how it works. Right? Let me know if you have any question in comments. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next one.